What's up, everybody? I'm gonna start uh, installing a new stereo because uh, mine's getting tired out and I have a hard time seeing the digital display from off the thing, especially in the temperature deal and plus having sunglasses and all. Yeah, it's time to upgrade and plus I need more features because I drive this around, especially around cities and towns, just doing some fun stuff here and there, but I can't. I can't be using my phone for uh, mapping or trying to figure out where I need to go. So, and I like to sync my phone so I can listen to some music. But first, I need to get rid of this stereo. But it's a good stereo in uh, stock base and good, uh, simple layout. But I need upgrade. Let's do this. Upgrade this. All right, here's the stock of stereo and everything. I'm going to have to dismantle it. Uh, little by little and there's gonna be a screw on it and you take the panel underneath off this I open this up I take this uh take all my stuff out so it doesn't fly everywhere um take it push this down unclip it and there's gonna be three type of clips to hold the climate chain climate control settings and uh, adjustments from the back side where the um unit is and I had to disconnect this. I think there's like a few eight millimeter bolts to disconnect this to hold it in. Disconnect all connectors to hook up the radio to the speakers and everything. So let's get it started. But I'm not going to be doing like a full video trail, but I'm going to just kind of show uh, piece by piece. All right, start there. I took the screw out here. So I just need to prop this down. If I get the tool kit they got me for this. A little tool kit, but I do already have uh, this at, at, at the garage, but it came with kit. I might as well just use it. So I'm gonna take a this uh, flat spoon style and just kind of prop it down. Kind of side shift a little bit so it comes off, and voila. Now I'm going to not just uh, touch anything just yet on this. Now I have to open the glove box. All right, there's going to be three of there's going to be three of these in different colors. You got the orange, uh, a lavender color, and a bluish color. These they're going to have like a little connector over here that you have to disconnect. Um, won't be too hard, and this just slides right off. So take me about less than 30 seconds or so just to disconnect every single one. And from there, now I go underneath where I took the panel off and start unbolting stuff. So I'll take this and show you. All right, now I have these disconnected. You can see uh, on this one, I end up just taking the screw out because it was a tight fitment and I don't know how to physically take it off just yet. But I think this is the only really good way to do it, just unscrew it and it takes like two seconds. So. All these are disconnected. I took a photo of it and I'll show it throughout the video clip while I have this off. Probably will you want to take a stop and watch, but I'll show you what I mean. You need to take, put your finger on here. There's going to be like a small indentation and push in just to release these cables position. All right, I already got the stereo out. Uh, there's going to be a couple bolts that's so going to be bolted in this areas. Uh, these corners one on mine mine was already pre taken out so I only had one bolt on one side I'll show you uh, I'll show you like from the, uh, this is the driver side and the passenger side there's gonna be a bolt a uh, couple uh, eight millimeter bolts uh, with a um, Phillips head style screw you can stick it uh, just make sure you get a long enough uh, screw roughly about six inches or so of a screwdriver or a extension uh, with a, a ratchet so not ratchet but a, a rent I can't even talk right now so I'm gonna just show you one of these with a long extension so I already got mine off and now I'm taking the, the I already took 
the screws out of here to put in this cup hole you can see there's about eight of them eight of the seat screws that need to become out of the units of the ac uh, the climate control uh and i disconnected the all the sensors and everything for here this one it was a pain in the butt it kept popping off so I, mine's not broken or anything it just keeps popping up it's it has these uh, special little clip like style that clip clip in clip it out can't talk right now I, yeah I'm just mostly just frustrated so yeah i got everything out now i'm gonna put the new stuff in first let me show you it all right, this is my new unit. I have a actually a knob on each side. One is for something. The other one, hopefully, is just for the volume control. Um, I like this how it's more really simple, easy, easy to use. You have CarPlay. The whole thing works that you need for to be everything. Uh, that like it has navigation settings. It has tone. It has media or media radio and mapping so um, menu and got a lot of control settings i have also reverse camera set up uh, for it too but i'm not going to fully enclose it just yet and plus uh you have to when you disconnect this you have to take off the knobs uh, I, I use the control so it doesn't like break or anything so i just kind of pop it off each corner nice and easy then on this uh, on the factory ones that you have the colors and the volume settings and the selections of um, all this uh, controls uh, from windshield the dashboard and the floor I just have our time talking it's been a long day from especially work and everything so i'm much exhausted and basically the reason why i like this type of unit it has like an oem look to it kind of like up to scale kind of look to it like i went from a, a uh, eco-friendly like a comedy rental car to a, a, a luxury type of car just how it's laid out in a way well I finally get most of it in. I still need to do put the bezel stickers on these and slide everything on, put the buttons back on. But I had it, the, there's gonna be like those little special clips that holds these, uh, the radio in place. So I had to trim this one right by this knob is uh, down much as I can, like this much left on um, inside out with the Dremel. Uh, just because uh, it was a tight fit, and you really had it. You really had to put a lot of uh, tension on it because you can see there's a little bit of gap still right here. You can see that little opening hole. That's just alignment to position, but it's a tight fit. So I had to trim just much as this whole side of just the factory uh, um, panels and everything. Not nothing on the CD player I have. Just everything is on here, so so it fits. Um, it feels like it's definitely uh, stiff enough right now, so it should not really move. But I'm going to test it later on and just let you know that it works. It works very well. I'm going to show you a little bit. Uh, I don't want to take this paint off. I have I have this uh, um, as a protection just in case it hits the this screen and everything so let me go on to here yeah let me go on to the radio button and i already have like a station on it now i'll just give you a like, quick glimpse of the sound and the quality all right now you can tell it's a little bit it's you basically use like the factory buttons and everything onto this passenger and the AC unit. I still need to plug in the cables for the controls for these and it should be set. And let me show you like a little preview. Let me give a, I might as well just take this off. So I'll give a little preview of what it looks like. It looks really nice. It's an eight inch uh, screen, eight inch with the navigation. I don't have navigation hooked up to this because I'm gonna use my phone as a navigation. So it will sync itself to it. So I'll just kind of 
scroll right through these uh buttons right here um i don't have anything hooked up at this moment you could tell and um, just need to hook up the cable and everything for this it's just like a sample sound right there but they have it already on it um i don't have anything hooked up to that as you can see bluetooth is not connected so i'll go back to that navigation nothing connecting on that but yeah it's a uh, pretty uh straightforward how to get this thing to work um i said it different ways just kind of like my other one you got chrome you got youtube oh sweet youtube i can just sit and chill and watch stuff if i wanted to i could probably uh uh sync this up to my stereo i can't i can't do anything with that tracking and everything it's kind of neat offer but no, I, I can't use it. But yeah, so I'll give you a pretty, it's a pretty nice unit so far. Um, I'm still waiting for my speakers to come in to, uh, from Shipman. It's been, it says it's gonna take about a month. So yeah, um, I got, to, I'll show you the speakers. I don't got the front speakers right now. I just don't really need the rear because it's only a two seater car. So for right now you can tell it's a little messy in there. But yeah, I don't really need to mess with the rears just yet i just want to work with the uh, front the front the front uh, doors and everything and it should be set all right guys this wraps up this video and uh, thank you for uh watching this video clip uh, it's been a few, like a week or so to actually get back into this car and start working on it just because work too hot and i had to do some more other stuff with uh in the garage and other stuff around the house yeah, I yeah, sold this uh, bad boy up. Uh, took me about a few hours to put that together. I'm just kind of uh, cleaning up around the uh, garage and everything so I can get everything set up and I can pull this in if I need to. Um, yeah. And you can tell the temperature is only like 73 degrees right now. But I do have a few more things for this car. I just don't want to share it out just yet because uh, it's a special. It's very special. Very special it's gonna be like a winter project for me so this is gonna be on the YouTube channel I don't have I'm not gonna be post on a lot of videos just because it's it's a weird uh, scenario trying to get this uh, channel going just a lot, not like uh, the other youtubers that actually have money and cash and time on their hands that work on I have I work six days a week so and I really it takes me half an hour just to get to here to work on a car and I'm, it's a lot, there's a lot to do. So I'm doing my best, but thank you for uh, watching this video and please uh, subscribe if you can and watch my other video, videos. If you feel very interested on the Honda project, my Honda Fit project, and I'm, I will actually, and try and get this on the track as much as I can. But yeah, I'll be driving it this summer. Don't worry. I already been driving already. I'm just uh, getting a feel for it. like. It's got good low mid-range power. It just don't have really good top end. So I'm gonna try to work on something to get this to get that upper range uh, going as soon as I can. So thank you and subscribe.